Another day where we go a simple three and three. There's so many three threes going around here. I'm starting to feel like I'm Larry Bird, which is a terrible joke, but it's all I've got right now. We need to get back on the winning ways. Let's start that off on Monday, July 24th with the six best plays you're going to find on prize picks for today. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let's get into it. First up, we're going more than six and a half fantasy points to Adley Rutschman. They are on the road, taking on the Phillies. Christopher Sanchez on the hill. League average projection at best. You're going to get righty lefty for Adley Rutschman. 4.6 run implied total for the Orioles. A 350 projected Woba. Why is this line set at six and a half? I'm not entirely sure. I say he goes more than that 60% of the time. The only less than for today is going to be less than eight fantasy points for Lane Thomas. Nats are at home taking on the Rockies. It looking like it's going to be Carl Kaufman as the long man, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like the Rockies trot out good pitchers from time to time. 5.1 projected FIP if it is Kaufman. Righty righty for Thomas. 4.8 run implied total. All of those things sound like they'd be good for Lane Thomas. But my question is this. Why is Adley Rutschman at six and a half if Lane Thomas is at eight? This game isn't in course. I can't really wrap my head around that disparity. This line's just too high. He goes less than 58% of the time. And we got a lot of mores to hit on. This first one is going to be for Juan Soto. They are taking on the Pirates. Quinn Priester on the hill. Four and a half implied total. This is not that kind of game, though. Uh, we're not worried about any bit of this for Juan Soto because there's a five-run implied total on the Padres. Juan Soto is one of the best hitters in baseball. He's got a lefty-righty matchup. He's got the same line as Lane Thomas today. If you can figure out how that one works, I'd love to hear it. But Juan Soto at eight and Lane Thomas at eight, it should be pretty obvious what we want to do with both of them. We had one Oriole. We also have a Philly Bryce Harper going up against the Orioles. Dean Kramer on the hill for Baltimore. 4.4 projected fit for Kramer. He's the league average starter. Lefty righty for Harper, 4.9 run implied total. All of that looks pretty good. His line set at seven and a half. I've got them going more than that 57% of the time. I feel like they've mixed and matched all of the lines today and put the right lines on the wrong people. There's a lot of value to be found for today. Before we go any further, like, subscribe, notification bell. Sign up for prize picks if you've never done that before using the link in the description. You'll get up to $100 on your first deposit and one month of our Odd Shopper pick em package for free. Completely, totally free. You'll get way more plays for prize picks and for the other pick'em sites, and we're taking a market-based approach to beating them. That's the best way that you can do it, in my opinion, so sign up using the link. Another line set at seven and a half that I wanna go more than, and that's gonna be for Paul Goldschmidt taking on the Diamondbacks, looking like Ryan Nelson on the hill for Arizona, 4.7 projected FIP, 4.9 run implied total for the Cardinals. Again, why is this at seven and a half, but Lane Thomas is at eight? Everybody that I'm naming is a better hitter than Lane Thomas, and the matchup isn't that good for Lane Thomas. It's not like Ryan Nelson is some world beater. We're just going to continue to take advantage of lines that seem to be slightly off. For this one, we're going more than seven and a half for Goldie. And we close that out with more than seven fantasy points for Bo Bichette on the road in LA, taking on the Dodgers, Michael Grove on the hill. He's a league average starter. Stop me if you've heard that before in this video. It's righty righty, so not ideal, but still a four and a half run implied total for the Blue Jays. 350, sorry, 347 projected Woba for Bo Brichette. This line is set at seven. Again, a full point below Lane Thomas, who isn't as good as a hitter right now as Bo Bichette. So more than seven fantasy points for Bo Bichette. It's a lot of mores today, and I don't normally like that, but I think we are low across the board. Rutschman more, Thomas less, Soto more, Harper more, Goldie more, and Bichette more. That is what we have for today, Monday, July 24th. I feel great about it. These lines feel wrong. They don't make sense on the surface. We will get rewarded as long as you hit that like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow.